All right, so we have we have a bunch of uh, different sounds for this uh, track now. I'm going to start thinking about how they're arranged into a structure. Currently, the way that it's organized on Cubase is just four bars of one section and then four bars of the next chord sequence that I wrote. So the first thing I'm going to do is just take that apart because I think that's far too like quick for the change between the two different chord sequences. So I'm going to yeah, remove the the kind of other sections from from the demo right now. Just grab all of that stuff, move it out of the way. Actually like I feel like the the second section that I wrote is probably going to end up being like the verse of the song. So that's going to go first in my arrangement. And I'm going to put like 16 bars of that one bit of music. And what that sounds like is this is this part. All right, so I'm considering that to be kind of like the verse of our track. And so now I've got like 16 bars of that music and and all of the drums are kind of playing throughout. So I'm going to try after 16 bars of that, I'll put in like eight bars of the chorus music. And for now, just as a kind of beginning to an arrangement, I'm going to copy that structure twice. So we've got what could be like two verses and two choruses in more kind of like normal lengths for a verse and a chorus. I'm going to make the, the second chorus double the length. And also the only other thing I'm going to do to begin with is put on at the start of the track, have like four bars of a kind of intro, which probably won't have all of the music. It might just have a little bit of it, but I'll copy all of the music to begin with. All right, so now the next step for me is I'm going to loop the first like four bars of the piece and just have a listen through the stuff that we've got and see what feels like it would be a nice kind of intro. And it's literally just going to be like listening to a few different elements from the track and thinking about like just imagining in your mind, you've got the start of a piece, what should be there? And I guess you've got a lot of different things to consider when you're thinking about that. Like if this track is designed to be like played in a club, then it really, really helps DJs for there to be some rhythmic elements in that part. Typically on like a dance track, you'll have like the kick drum and some hats and snares or whatever at the very beginning. Now for me, when I think about this piece of music, I don't think it's really like, I don't hear it as being like fully like a club piece. So I would say that the intro for me for this is gonna be something more atmospheric and less about the beat. So I'm going to try some of the uh, melodic elements in the intro. So I'm just looping that first four bars and I'm going to have a listen to a few different things that could happen in that part. So to me, that that feels like a like a decent beginning. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna for now say that that's potentially like the intro to our track. Then after four bars of that, I'm gonna drop into like what could eventually be like the verse. So I'm gonna bring in some of the drums at that point and the bass line. I'm also going to like drop out a couple of these elements because I feel like there's probably a few too many things going on for the first verse. So I'm going to mute a couple of these things. Can I actually try even less stuff going on? So I'm going to mute like the 
the OBX pad that I made. So it's basically just, just the baseline for a little while. Uh, one thing that I forgot is we've got this nice sound of some crickets. Uh, so I'm going to, I'm actually going to put those a little bit right at the start of the song before anything else happens. So now it sounds like this. I'm kind of still thinking that this track eventually might have uh, some singing over it. So that's that's a good bed for like a singer to, to begin basically, like not too many melodic things going on, a lot of space for some words essentially. I am going to now like listen to the chorus music that comes afterwards and have a quick think about what elements enter in the chorus, basically just, just purely based on what sounds good. So the thing that I feel like maybe is like the main kind of like chorus element is this nice omnisphere hang drum part, which I'll just give you a blast of so you can kind of remind you what that sounds like. I think that's a really nice sound. And also just listening then, the, what I what I felt is like maybe maybe when we go into this chorus, it could be like a drop down, so uh, kind of like a, a mini breakdown. So I'm going to try losing the bass line and the drums for like a few bars, and introduce that sound at the same time. And that this is what it sounds like now. Okay, so like um, the transitions in between like these different bits of music are really like rough right now. Everything's just starting and stopping, but I would probably, if I decide that this is like the right ar arrangement for these elements, go back and tidy up those transitions later using delays or cymbal crashes or white noise, whatever elements you really want, just to make the, the, the transition between those parts smoother and feel more natural. But for now, I'm just going to move on to uh, where it changes back from the first chorus into the second verse and have a listen to a few elements that could play together at that point. So I'm going to empty things out again a little bit.
okay, I feel like that that sounds good. That's like taken away a lot of the kind of pad elements um, and just left the nice kind of thumb piano and beer sound, which which hasn't featured in the track since the introduction yet. So it's quite nice to hear that again. That sounds like this. That works nicely with the ARP bass line. I'll just play those two things together. I actually really like those things together, like with 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 very little else going on. So I'm gonna the way that things sound right there, those elements playing, I'm gonna copy that to the first verse as well. Maybe maybe with the addition of our like crazy like water bottle sounds because those are good and atmospheric and the crickets. All right, so we're getting our arrangement together. I feel like the verses are sounding really good. I'm gonna focus on the second chorus uh, for a minute and see if I can kind of find some elements that, are, that work really nicely together there. Uh, so I'm just gonna listen to it once again. finding when I'm listening through all of this stuff is the track just sounds better with less going on. Um, I think there are lots of elements that are kind of unnecessary like I'm finding that when I mute some of the hi-hat tracks that I made in the original demo it just it feels like the space in the track is really really nice so I've actually kind of got rid of quite a lot of the hi-hats. I still have them here on the screen if I want to use them at any point but it kind of sounds better to me without them. And I'm really enjoying the, the thumb piano and beer sound. So I'm going to put that into the first chorus. And I've made this last second chorus and the last chorus in the track a double chorus. So I'm just going to kind of see how it progresses and what elements I can bring in as the chorus, as the chorus runs to kind of make it feel like it's building a little bit. So this is the beginning of the second chorus. <laughs> So that, that feels quite good. There's another snare layer that sounds like this. I've kind of tried bringing that um, in like uh, after like a few bars of this chorus. Let's play that, play that again. And I'll turn it up a little bit so it's a bit more obvious. <laughs> about like a like a short kind of poppy kind of arrangement we're getting towards the end of the track right now so I'm gonna remove a few of the kind of drum and hat elements right at the end here and see what it's like if it feels like it's kind of winding down towards the end <laughs> The 
this is like a really, really, really simple arrangement that that I've made. And I don't know if this is entirely right yet, but what, what I quite like to do is like, just throw everything out into an arrangement and then you kind of just have something to think about and listen to. And, and in the normal course of like making a track, I would probably like try an arrangement like this that's fairly basic and then maybe like bounce this, um, mix this down so that I can listen over the next few days and think about it and think about what works about it and what doesn't work and then come back to it and try something else. Because in the moment when you're sitting in front of the computer, it's sometimes difficult to know how you feel about a particular arrangement. Like, is this working? Is this not? Should this be more busy? Should this be clearer of elements? Should this, should this part of the track be a breakdown? You know, if you put it on the next day while you're making some food in the evening or while you're on the train, um, those things sometimes become a lot clearer suddenly because you're listening in a different context. You're kind of listening to the track as if it's a song by somebody else. And you can quite easily then decide like, okay, this bit works and this bit just doesn't. So the next time you come to the computer, you can make those changes and it feels a lot easier making those changes than it does when you're presented with a screen with like infinite options. So there, yeah, there are lots of things I'm gonna do to this arrangement from this point onwards. A little bit of mixing, a little bit of finessing, how sections gut flow from one to another. But I feel like as a starting point, this is like a decent structure.